taking care of your home and making it you is self-care. So excited. Come here. What you want to see in this vlog is the before and after. Hello, hello, my angels. Welcome to a new day and a new home reno. Let's go in some natural lighting, shall we? So I have been just dancing around my room all morning, getting ready. It feels like spring finally. And with spring comes spring cleaning, spring organization, and spring spruce ups. And our ensuite bathroom is the last thing that I have touched in this place. It is just, it's, it's not the one. It's not the one right now. But we're gonna do a three day reno and I'm gonna take you through this bathroom looking from this to this. And now it's so funny being like, and to this when I haven't even seen that version of it yet. So today what I am going to do is I'm going to take the cabinets off and start sprucing those up. Along the way of this video, I'm going to include all the links to all of the different hardware and things like that. This isn't a major, major transformation, but nonetheless, a small transformation with small bits, paint, hardware, and just sprucing some things up when it comes to flooring can make a ginormous change, as you can see. So not the most expensive reno, but definitely making a big change. And Scotty and I have big things coming up so we're so excited to have this part of our house kind of getting that revamp so if you are long for another job well done my dad's gonna be joining me tomorrow let's start with prepping all of the bathroom for today so a couple of the things we want to change in here sorry if it's echo echoey we're gonna change the floor we're gonna change the sideboards there I'm gonna clean the heck out of it okay I am going to be painting these cabinets and changing those knobs and I also got an incredible deal to change all of the hardware in here just to make it look a bit more upscale. And I think after a great clean, a fresh coat of paint, and all of these extra fixtures that truly act as jewelry in the home, it's gonna look pretty phenomenal. So let me walk you through those bits. This girl is truly living her best life. She's being such a little sass monster today. Oh, that was a nice kiss. That was very nice of you. She's also very excited for the washroom. <laughs> So I feel like always a really great place to start when it comes to our little home renos is to show you my inspiration. So these photos, excuse me, ma'am. She needs something. These photos are the inspiration that I found from Pinterest for this little bathroom reno. But this is kind of the hero product that I found at Lowe's. And I'm gonna link it down below because it came in this brushed gold. It also came in a darker color that was also brushed and a silver. It's a five piece bathroom setup. All of the different versions have slightly a different price. The darkest shade is actually a bit more pricey than this on the original price. But what it comes with is the light as you see on the front, the toilet, paper holder, a towel bar, a robe hook, and a towel ring. So I am so stoked for that because I just feel like those features are really gonna set off this room. We got a couple of other things. Hello, Schnooter. I also picked up, so in terms of hardware for the washroom, I wanted to try to get some of that gold feel in there because it's very much my style. We have just different gold pieces, even you can see on the frames up there around the house. But in getting a set like that, oftentimes what I have found now doing quite a few renos, it's so hard to match the metals. So my goal was on the cabinets to actually get some hardware that also matched, but that would have been truly impossible. And to also find a faucet would have been really hard. So I ended up going for a matte black finish for the faucet as well as the hardware on the cabinetry. So I'm pumped for that. And then we also went with the light, shout out to the guy who was helping me with light bulbs in Lowe's. He was honestly so nice, so helpful. So helpful. And we went with this vintage style LG. It's 60 watts. And I'll um, I'll definitely show you, obviously, the finished product, what that will look like. And these little pieces of hardware. Hi there. Hello. And these little hardware pieces look like this. So I feel like that will match so nicely with the faucet. Um, I think it is really important to really try to do your best to find those metals that match, but mixed metals are totally fine as well. I also ended up stopping at HomeSense and I picked up this really beautiful painting. I just thought, 
Well, it's obviously a print. I just thought it was nice and relaxing for a washroom. It will also go with the color that I'm going to be also painting the cabinets, which is this tone, which I'll bring you a bit more into some natural light. Ooh, I should have done this this way. But yeah, it's this top tone and it is by Seiko. Oh, do you like it? And it is called Bonsai. Finally, I just picked up a really beautiful candle that we can set out in there as well. One that is kind of more decor versus actually being lit. And then we also have a little fake grass in there. Um, it's just like one of those little ones from Ikea. So I might keep that, but change up the pot for when things actually go down. And we actually have a really nice toothbrush holder. So I'm going to definitely keep that because it brings in a natural feel. Now the color of the walls in here, it's called alabaster and it's not like a pure sharp white, which is what the bathroom is right now. And I'm gonna go check. I almost guarantee I have enough paint to also paint the bathroom in there with the remaining paint that I had from this bedroom because we didn't end up obviously painting this wall. So if one can is supposed to cover an entire room, I think with the smallness of the bathroom, you get what I'm saying. I think we'll have enough. So in terms of getting set and sorted, Doing the cabinets first, and then when my dad comes over tomorrow, we're gonna rip everything off the walls, prep those walls, and then get those painted. So excited. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that Okay, so this is my official message. If you wanna do something in your home, do it. Because I'm upset that I didn't do this sooner. These look so gorgeous. I'll close them. It was so serendipitous that the hardware actually matches. Oh, it's lovely. Okay, if you need to do something in your home and it just deals with a coat of paint, babe, get on it because it's gonna change so much and taking care of your home and making it you is self-care. Forever, forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Good morning, my friends. It is day two. Day two and the bathroom has been clean. Scotty also helped me clean that up last night. Rosie's truly thriving, living her best life. She's obsessed with this towel, I don't know why. Maybe I had some like hand cream on and I used it. But anyways, okay, so let's talk about the progress. So I actually just had a very quick shower in here. So the glass has been absolutely cleaned. It looks gorgeous. The bottom down there still looks horrible. So what I'm gonna do, sorry for the echo by the way, my mom instructed me to put baking soda on the grout because it's just always been like that like even when Scotty moved in and then put vinegar on top of that and hopefully that chemical reaction will really help the holes that I covered last night absolutely look great so I sanded those down as well and today I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna paint the back side of this door because I actually haven't done that and the trim around we're also gonna change the trim down and around the washroom and the cabinet is looking so cute. I'm so happy with it, like so, so happy with it. And then what we are also gonna do, this mirror stays just cause it's kind of like 
for the space. There's literally no reason to change it. And we're gonna change this light and everything. So my dad is on his way. And let day two begin. Oh my gosh, guys, what? this is so cute. Scotty was like, oh my gosh, your dad matches the palette I, I, so I, perfectly. I dressed for the occasion. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. And yeah, Rosie's freaking Rose. out. Wow. Hey, come see Papa. Oh, Papa. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So, what we're doing right now is taking these off, uh, but if you have any. Uh, builder grade places oftentimes they'll literally just be like we're sticking this thing on and it has got a lot of caulking on it so i couldn't do this myself last night because you need the right tools so what he's doing is he's edging it first with an exacto knife to kind of cut the original seal and then he's got this little lever guy <laughs> best tool in her <laughs> yeah that actually has been so helpful lately yeah, the valley six bucks <laughs> 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 Lee Valley, six bucks. I'll try to find one below, maybe on Amazon, and I'll link it down in the description box. And then, yeah, so you just continue to go slow because the goal here is not to just rip it off the wall because you want to... Oh! Well done. Out on the floor. Well done. The goal... I mean, he did a fabulous job because, look, hardly any ripping there. And if I had done this myself, I guarantee I would have ripped that drywall and it would have been much more of a faff to fix later. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take those off and then seal it once and likely we will have to do two seals. They dry pretty quickly, but nonetheless you wanna make sure that it's fully dry so you can sand it down so when we paint it and put the new bar on, you won't be able to tell at all where the last one was. I hate these so much. All right, well there is the old, the old spot. Just another sunny day in Southern California. Actually been the worst vlogger today so my dad and I also put down the floor in the other bathroom and you can so quickly forget how long things take and now we are finally putting the floor down in this bathroom so it is officially 7 45 and we started around noon <laughs> give yourself tons of time but I'll show you the floor once it's done good morning my darlings now today is day two Today is day three. <laughs> I managed to get even a full load of laundry, but I want to show you everything that we've done. So this is just like, again, one of those things. Renos take time and anytime we budget time for a project, we should probably add on a few hours, which is pretty natural. The, um, the house I've been saying um, is in carnage because everything is everywhere. But I haven't mentioned this actually. We actually also did the floor in here. It was previously this kind of like vinyl mat, but it looks so good now. So once this bathroom is put together, I will show you that, all of our stuff out on the ground. But this is the bathroom that this vlog really follows. So we did lay quite a bit of that floor. Look at the difference. Oh my goodness, that is just, it, that vinyl floor is just never, one, going to have the upkeep that uh, vinyl planks like these will have, and it just looks so gross. So currently the toilet is in the, is in the shower, which is a very bespoke take on bathroom amenities. <laughs> and uh, what we did as well, I think I told you this, we covered a lot of the holes that were going on in here. So I am going to sand those down. My dad is on his way soon. So I think what I'm gonna to try to do is actually try to do a coat of paint in here so that when he gets here, I can have that paint covered behind the toilet. And then if we have to do any fixed spots, like for example, fixing this fixture up here and adding the new one, then it'll just be kind of a spot treatment. So. I'm gonna get into that very quickly. The tea has been made and this bathroom and the other bathroom are coming along so nicely. We also went to Lowe's and picked up a bunch of stuff. I was going to get some footage there, but I was like, no, you know what? What we really wanna see in this vlog is the before and afters. And if you guys have any questions about how we did something or where something is from, just let me know in the comments below and I will text my dad or send you the link. Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learn in grade school 
give it to me like you want it Did you forget that could Why is I love it one-sided? It should really be give and take Fill you up and leave me empty Baby, was that the my mistake? Covering his feelings Going through changes I'm just so mad right now I can't even think straight yeah, I know. videotaping this. One little piece at a time. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm putting this in. So this is our very last piece, and it's so much <laughs> mental gymnastics. But what I've seen from my dad today is that you just go really slow, and you measure three times, so you only cut once. <laughs> lunch update. We've got the fan going on in the bathroom because I've done two coats of paint. The only coat of paint I haven't done is behind the light and the mirror and that is because I needed the light to paint and now it's really hot so I have to turn it off because of course we're going to be replacing it with a different light. So hopefully we can take that down, patch the wall, paint it, and then mount the new light. Um, that'll probably be tomorrow. And then, oh, my shoulder just cracked like crazy. <laughs> and then my dad just went to Rona. He got a new bathtub spout, because this one's like kind of weird. And then he also has started to do the baseboards, which I believe we will also put a nice little coat of paint on after they're done, because they've only been primed, and then we're gonna seal everything. So baseboards in here, baseboards in there, and we are well on our way for like, this project. I'm gonna paint in here as well because this is my first time painting in here when we first moved in and I did not do a good job. <laughs> so sand down the walls and then do a much more educated job on painting. My dad's back at it again. Back at it. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're gonna do all like the really fun stuff. Not that yeah. I don't think all of those calculations and floor was fun. <laughs> yeah, but when you get to the final stuff, it's yeah. nice, right? Yeah. It's like actually the decor yeah, you stuff. Can see, you can see an end of it. Yeah, the end yeah. is in sight, guys. So this is day four. We are gonna be putting up yeah. the light, like all of the jewelry to the rooms. Yes. Um, it's day four because as you can remember, I started the first day on my own, Scotty. Oh, yeah. And then um, I guess there'll be like another day after this where I paint the other room, but you guys don't care about that. So let's get after it. Oh, very nice. Excuse my handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> This is the moment of truth. Oh no. Oh, oh wow, and not the dimmer. Ooh. Ooh. That is yeah. very yellow. Yeah. It is. What do you guys think? So this <laughs> Are you are you comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> I just have to like illustrate the fact that I'm on a toilet. Yes. This is how you figure out. Let me put you down here. This is serious business. Oh yeah. Where do you want it back here? Oh no, I no, I don't want to reach back. I feel like, I feel like it used to be like somewhere around here. Oh yeah, it used to be like he, like here. Yeah, that's nice. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Is that nice? Yeah. Is that a go? Right there, yeah. All right. Okay. 
I guess you could call this day five, which is the final review. If you stuck around this long, please leave the star emoji down in the comments. But um, let's do the final reveal. So here is the little towel bar. It's stiff when you pull it out and in, which I really like. And the color of brass as well, like the brush gold kind of is, I think is a really nice take on a gold. And we also matched it. Well, I also matched it with this little tea towel. Originally this was for a kitchen, but it matches so perfectly with the cabinetry and the cabinets are one of my absolute favorite parts of the whole reno because I feel as though it's one thing that a lot of us can go out and do. I mean, you saw my dad doing so many of these things, right? Using the saw, um, doing the floor. That may be hard for a lot of us to do without a little bit of help. I know myself included in that, but to go out and get some paint, sand down some cabinetry, and then just paint it, it's gonna make a huge change and a lot of us can do that. Also, I changed up the storage down here. So I went to HomeSense and I got these two bins. As you can see, that one's just $14.99. I really like the clear ones when it comes to cleaning supplies or bathroom stuff. And then because this is just a big open cavity and we had no plans on really like doing any reno inside of the cabinet to add shelves, I also got this little caddy here in HomeSense in the basket aisle. So highly recommend if you have one of these very annoying bathroom cavities, go and check that out because that's where I kind of put all of Scotty's eye stuff and then just maybe more like the small knickknacks like nail clippers, etc., things like that. Besides the jewelry on the cabinet, so these are a little matte black one. I found them in the cabinetry section at Lowe's. You can find a ton of matte black kind of detailing anywhere, Lowe's, Rona, Home Depot, online on Amazon, I'll put some on there as well. And I also found these Halifax doorknobs a while ago. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I changed all of those in our house. And that is another little detail that it is a bit of a pricier way to go, but it just changes everything so quickly. So if you can save up and change your doorknobs, <laughs> it's like one of those adulting things that I'm like, yeah, now I'm excited about doorknobs. But it was such a good move to keep everything matte black kind of on this level because I knew I wasn't going to be able to find the exact matching metal for the brush gold. So for these lights, we are absolutely so in love. And I was, today, today's year old, today's day old, I was today old when I realized that you can get dimmable LED lights and non-dimmable. So if you do have a dimmer in a washroom and you're looking to replace the bulbs, we didn't end up going with the Edison bulbs because they were way too yellow as you guys saw in film. I ended up going for a soft white and um, the globe bulb actually adds, I think, a lot to the detail. I kept our little Ikea plant here just to continue on the greenery and I picked up these. So this is just a little soap set that I picked up from, it's wanting to focus on my face there, yeah, from Home Sense, And it's just gardenia white peach and I just really loved that this still gave off the matte black detail. I found one that I really liked but it had a silver top and I was like, mm, no, I've just gone so hard at um, figuring out these metals. So. That's that. The sink is amazing. It works so perfectly. I also picked up this um, fresh cut flower. It's got like a little, one of those wood burning kind of wicks in it. And I picked that up from HomeSense. And just down the candle aisle in HomeSense, I find that you can find a lot of very aesthetically pleasing candles, even if you don't plan to light them. We also changed, so the towel bar used to be, don't get sick, on this side, where I changed it to this painting, um, this little print here, also from HomeSense, which I absolutely adore. I think it adds so much to the calmness of the space. Scotty really liked it as well. Um, and we changed the towel bar to be behind the door because I feel as though that's where it naturally should have been the whole time. So when you get out of the shower, we would always have to kind of reach behind the shower, but normally we would just take our towel, plop it down there and then have a shower. It didn't really make a lot of sense, but here now having it behind the door, not only is it a space saver and aesthetically way nicer to have the painting above the toilet, 
but it just makes way more sense. <laughs> so that's another thing. And then down to the floor, it just looks phenomenal. The last thing we actually have to do that we haven't finished yet is the T-bar there. So that's just a little last minute detail that we've got to add. And then Scotty and I will be vigorously scraping out the grout in the shower and we're actually gonna re-grout it. But I didn't wanna hold up this video just for grout. So that's one thing that we are gonna do. And then you've got also these really beautiful details like carrying out that brass all the way through the bathroom. So that is my finished bathroom reveal. Thank you guys so much for coming along this far. I had some bigger ideas, but we wanted to keep it very simple in here and maybe do some bigger renos in the future. Um, I'm gonna try to break down the price of everything as well, just to see, you know, how much was this flip? It was definitely in the hundreds of dollars, but not the thousands, which is really nice. And I think, and I think you'd agree as well, it made an absolute huge impact. So thank you for watching. I know my dad and I didn't get a chance to say another job well done, but thank you for watching and another huge shout out to my dad for all of the help over the days. He had um, quite a bit of vacation days and they weren't able to go away. So he ended up also, check this guy out, flooring their entire office so my mom could move her sewing room from down in the basement to upstairs. So huge shout out to him. And again, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe, join this little cozy nook of the internet. And without further ado, I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.